Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. Today, all about owls, written and illustrated by Jim Arnosky. All about owls, Jim Arnosky. Turn the next two pages to see a life-size portrait of a great horned owl. Kristen and Kelly. And here we've been moving down the owl. Have you ever wondered about owls? How many kinds of owls are there? Where do they live? Why are owls' eyes so big? What do owls eat? This book answers all these questions and more. It's all about owls. Owls are birds of prey, which means they hunt kill and eat small animals. Eagles and hawks are also birds of prey, but they are daytime birds. Owls are creatures of the night. After sleeping all day, they awaken at dusk and hunt until dawn. There are 134 species of owls in the world. These 12 show just how different species of owls are in size and color. Owls live in all kinds of places, from the desert to the Arctic tundra. These are North American owls. Each owl's name, average length, and habitat is listed near its picture. Elf owl, five and a half inches, deserts, and dry lands. Burrowing owl, nine inches, deserts, and grasslands. Short-eared owl, 16 inches, marshes and grasslands. Sawet owl, 7 inches, forests. Snowy owl, 24 inches, arctic tundra and grasslands. Boreal owl, 9 inches to 12 inches, coniferous forests. Screech owl, 10 inches, deciduous forests. So coniferous forests are like pine trees, conifers. Deciduous forests mean forests where the trees lose their leaves. Long-eared owl, 15 inches, coniferous forest, pine forests. Barred owl, 26 inches, deciduous forest where they're gonna lose the leaves. Barn owl, 18 inches, farms, fields, parks, old buildings, even in cities. This big guy with the round head, great gray owl, 24 inches to 33 inches. Northern forests, and it's the largest of all owls. And this one here that we saw on the title pages, great horned owl, 18 inches to 25 inches. Coniferous and deciduous forests, so all different kinds of forests. All owls, big or small have large rounded heads with flat facial discs, sharply hooked beaks, and big eyes that face forward. Here is what a saw wet owl looks like close up. Although owls appear to be plump and heavy, they weigh very little. Most of what you see are loose, fluffy feathers. Underneath its feathers, this saw wet owl's body is about the size of a robin's body. So underneath these feathers, the body is about that size. An owl's fat, flat facial discs aid its night vision by reflecting all available light into the owl's eyes. All the feathers of an owl, even the stiffer wing feathers, have soft edges so the owl can fly silently. Owls have two toes forward and two toes backwards. One rear toe on each foot can pivot forward. Pivot means to change sides. The so-called eared owls or horned owls are named for the tufts of feathers on their heads that look like ears or horns. An owl's actual ears are hidden inside a fold of skin on each side of the owl's head. Owl's eyes are large with dark pupils. 
In the darkness, the pupils can widen almost the entire size of the eye to gather all available light. This is a great horned owl we're seeing. In an owl's skull, the eye sockets hold the eyeballs firmly facing forward, giving owls a wider range of binocular vision than all other birds. Binocular vision enables the owl to judge the distance of its prey. Owl's eyes are fixed in their sockets and cannot move very much. To look from side to side, an owl must turn its head. An owl can swivel its head around to look backward. Like all birds, owls have a top, a bottom, and a third eyelid. The third eyelid is transparent, that means see-through. It's only for cleaning and moistening the eyeball. Not only do owls have excellent night vision, they also have a keen sense of hearing. On the darkest nights, owls can locate and chase prey by sound alone. Certain species of owls, such as the snowy owl and the short-eared owl, hunt both day and night. But most owls are nighttime hunters. Animals that are most active at night are called nocturnal. There are two other nocturnal animals on this page. Can you find them? The owl pictured here is the great horned owl. Because owls are nocturnal, people rarely see them. The easiest way to tell which owls are living around you is to listen for their calls. The call of the Barrett owl goes something like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. The call of the great horned owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. The call of the screech owl. There are many different owl calls as there is as many different owl calls as there are species of owls, but these three are the most commonly heard and the easiest to identify. They're the calls of the great horned owl, the barred owl, and the screech owl. Owls call most frequently in the late winter or early spring, which is their mating season. Throughout the rest of the year, pairs of owls call back and forth just to keep tabs on one another's movements. Sometimes just to say, hey, I'm here. All owls' eggs are white and almost round. The size of an owl egg depends on the size of the owl. Depending on the species, owls lay from two to seven eggs. Now, if you had the real book, this would be the actual size of the barred owl's eggs with a peak at the hatchling inside. Snowy owls and short-eared owls nest on the ground. Burrowing owls nest under the ground. All other species of owls nest high up in the natural cavities, the V part of trees, and abandoned woodpecker holes or deserted crows or squirrels' nests. Newborn owls are covered with soft downy feathers and cannot fly. At first they eat only what, only food that is regurgitated or spit up by their parents. Very soon the owlets are fed torn bits of prey. At six weeks of age, owls are big enough to fly and leave the nest and learn to hunt for themselves. This is a barred owl with the owlets in the cavity and opening part of a tree. When hunting, owls watch for any movement in the night. They listen for the rustling sounds of mice on the ground or the wafting sound of moth wings in the air. This is the saw wet owl. Owls eat more rodents than anything else they eat. The smaller species of owls will eat insects, especially moths. Larger owls also eat weasels, rabbits, snakes, and other birds, including smaller owls. An owl uses its beak to pick apart large prey. Small animals are swallowed whole. Indigestible bones and fur are coughed up in the form of a compact wad called a pellet. This is the actual size, if you had the book, 
of a saw wet owl palette containing bones and fur of a mouse. An owl is a crow's worst enemy. Night hunting owls pounce on sleeping crows. Owls raid the nests of crows and other birds. If an owl is discovered by a crow during daylight hours, the entire flock of crows will mob the owl repeatedly diving at its head to drive it away. So during the day, owls always try to stay out of sight. It's a great horned owl. In North America, it is against the law for any person to harass or harm owls. Owls are just as beneficial in cities as they are in the countryside because they feed mainly on rodents. This helps keep the rodent population in control. And of course, wherever they live, owls add a sense of mystery to the sounds and silence of the night. Barn owl. Thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. I hope you enjoyed All About Owls as much as I do. I love Jim Arnosky's books. They have such interesting facts and such fantastic pictures. I learned so much about owls from this wonderful book, and they are one of my favorite animals.